In this video, we're going to rank a 100% AI written content first on Google. And to do that, we're going to use two tools. One is ChatGPT and the other is a freemium tool called Journalist. So let's get started. First things first, and the very first thing you need to do, whether you use AI or not, is do some keyword research. Now, before I get into keyword research, I do want to mention something that's very, very important. Google doesn't really care who or what writes the content, whether that's a human or a robot, as long as the content is valuable for a user, it's going to rank, right? Again, Google doesn't care if it's you writing it, if it's you co-authoring it with AI, as long as it is valuable, it's going to rank. So let's get started. First things first, like I said, is keyword research. So let's say we want to build out a blog for the best surf spots in Portugal, right? This is generic. This might be a surface level niche, but you get the point, right? My whole goal with this is just to show you the steps that you need to take. So let's write this prompt. Right, there we have it. So I want to create a blog to, that showcases the best surf spots in Portugal. Give me a list of 10 keywords I should write content around so that I can target a surface search intent coming to Portugal on, on their next surf trip, right? And it gives me some keywords. Now, the more iterations you do with this, right, the more back and forth you do with ChatGPT or any other tool you use, maybe you're using Ahrefs, SEMrush, I'm solely using ChatGPT because it is free. The more iterations you do, the more questions and answers, the more specific you are, the better. And so with that, let's ask it just to focus on the south of Portugal because that's also where most waves are. Now, I know this and you need to know your niche, right? You're not gonna be writing content if you don't know the niche or to some extent, somewhat are knowledgeable, somewhat about the niche that you're writing about. So let's do this. As I said, I'm asking it to focus on the south of Portugal. And so this back and forth will allow us to granulate more and be more granular about the keywords or more specific about the keywords we're targeting. So there we go. There we have it. For this video's sake, I won't dive too deep into this. If you have some paid tools like Ahrefs, I do recommend you first ask it, ask ChatGPT for more keywords, be more granular with it, have more back and forth, and then paste this on Ahrefs or any other, to any other tool as primary keywords and have and read the suggestions that they give you, that Ahrefs gives you, for example, then go out and paste those keywords in here again and do this back and forth as much as you can because with keyword research, the more you do the research, as boring as it sounds, the better it is and the more success you'll have in the future. And one of the issues with SEO is oftentimes people neglect keyword research and keyword research is one of the most important aspects of SEO. Because if you don't know what your customers are searching for, you're never gonna be able to produce quality content to target the customers you want. So that's why keyword research is super, super important. Now, take this with a grain of salt, of course, and take these uh, knowing that this isn't properly, properly done. Now, second step is going to this little software, which I love, full disclosure, I own it. It's freemium, so you can get three articles for free. And I'm gonna show you why I'm using this software over ChatGPT. So let's dive in going here to my dashboard. And first things first, before I generate any content with this, I wanna go over all these ones because I just wanna go over one specific thing here. I'm gonna go over to my history here and to show you the types of articles uh, this software can generate. So just gonna view these right here real quick. I can post them to WordPress if I like with a click of a button, but I'll go over that later on. This is for a gardening niche, right? 10 tips for starting a garden as a, ne a newbie, sorry. You can see here the featured image. There's of course a table of contents. Um, this article structure is very, very well put up. There's bold words, there's automatic internal links, there's in-article images, automatic external links, there's bullets when they're necessary, there's more internal images, uh, there's tables of contents when, sorry, tables when necessary, there's in-article videos when necessary, and all these are relevant. So it reads through the article, then goes to YouTube and tries to find a niche-relevant video to post on here. You get more tables, more internal links, more external links, and call to action to your product. So. Let's apply this to the keyword research we just did. So go here to generate articles. Now I could just use the keyword mode, paste this in here, just choose the language. We can choose from over 150 different languages. So if we're, if we're targeting, targeting sorry, the Portuguese market, I could generate in Portuguese, Turkish, Spanish, Greek, English, whatever you want. There's over 150 different languages. Then just click generate. But I wanna go a bit more granular, right? I wanna be a bit more specific. So what I do is I go here to the advanced mode and I really wanna show you how this looks like. So first step, just go here to create a preset right? Let's call this preset my surf blog, right? And now we have all these seven steps, which I want to go over with you 
real quick because I think it's really important. So base, the generation mode. Generation mode, we want it to be keyword base. And then we just paste in here our keywords, right? All these ones. So far, pretty straightforward. Now, this little feature right here is an amazing feature which I won't detail much right now. But essentially what you can do is you can create a brand, right? And upload your brand to, let's see, this is your brand, to Journalist AI, right? And Journalist AI learns anything and everything it can about your brand. And so it becomes as knowledgeable as you are about your own brand. Thus, it can produce hyper-specific, super brand-tailored content with your images, with your tone of voice, brand's tone of voice, sorry. Even making it so, looking like so, looking like so it would be you writing the content. But I won't dive too deep into this. If you do end up trying it out, you can test the brands out here, which for now, they won't be necessary. That's step one. Step two is the content. Now, we're going to produce content in English, right? You can choose over 150 different languages, but let's just leave it in English. Then we can choose this sliding here for creativity. We can make it super creative and original, or we can just make it correct and factual. For now, I'll leave it here as more creative and original. This, again, will depend on how you want your brand's voice to come across, right? Speaking of voice, you can change the tone of voice. Let's do informal because surfing is all about being informal, about having fun. So let's just do informal here. Point of view, we can just do first person plural. Actually, let's do first person singular because I think it will look great if it's uh, someone or an actual person speaking about their own experiences. Then we could add some custom instructions here, which I won't do so because I want to keep this video short. Now, structure. This is where you can add a call to action to the bottom of your article. So let's say this is your article that talks about surf, which I'll show you how it looks like. And then here, down here, let's say you want to have a call to action to surf surfing lessons, to people buying a surfboard, right? To whatever it is that you're, that you're offering, right? Having a call to action to an actual service or product, we can set this up automatically by adding your offer link right here. And it, what's important is we will find a way to seamlessly integrate the call to action in the footer of your article, both in the text as well as the anchor text, which is the link you click to go out to the other site. All this will be integrated seamlessly, right? I'll just add here a random link so to this brand right here, right? So let's just do that as so, a Portuguese surf shop as a call to action. Now, headings. We can write our headings, writing the headings ourselves if we'd like. And this gives you a bunch of different opportunities here, FAQs, a lot more, but let's just leave this automatic for this video's sake. Let's have, leave AI to generate the headings for us. It will generate both the H2s and H3s as we wish, right? Then for internal linking, right? This is where we have the content, have internal links to other articles you've generated in the past or to other pages on your site, right? This is super powerful because we want to make sure these articles are interactive. So if we're speaking about a certain topic that another page on our site or another blog post on our site has also spoken about, we want to interlink it, right? We'll never interlink to a page that doesn't speak about or that is, it isn't relevant to where the link comes from. So for example, if this article is about surfboards, we're not going to be linking out to our terms and conditions or to a page about uh, cats, right? Doesn't make sense. Interlinks, internal links only happen in a way that makes sense. The link as well as the anchor text, right? The anchor text, which is a little text you click, will also be seamlessly integrated. Now, to do, the, to do this, you just add the sitemap right here. Okay, so I have a sitemap here from a surfing website. Again, this isn't my site, so if it were, it would be easier to get. But again, this sitemap will give us access to all of these posts. So we will, journalists will validate the articles we just written and then interlink in here with any other of these posts or page, again, dependent on the sitemap you upload. This is a new sitemap. We could upload any time a sitemap here. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. If you want to dive a bit deeper, watch the videos on this channel on how this works exactly. You can even filter the sitemap if you'd like, but let's move on to the external linking. Now, similarly to the internal linking, we can automate this, right? We'll scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language, right? And so in your article, if it's about finance, for example, we'll find the best places to add the anchor text to link out to finance-related websites, whether that's TechCrunch, Investopedia, Wikipedia, whatever it is, there'll be relevant articles in your niche and language. So let's just leave this to automatic. We can add our own links if you'd like, but for now, let's just do automatic here. Then images. There's a lot of things you can do here. We can do two stock photo sites for images. We can do Google license-free photos, or you can even add your custom images. We only use your brand images. 
or it's new right here. You can add AI images, which in my opinion look pretty good. So let's just do AI images for now. Then you can enable and disable featured images. Let's enable it. You can enable and disable in article images. Let's do that as well. Finally, videos. We can automate this, right? We can have it so we, on the articles we write, we'll scrape through YouTube and find the most relevant videos to add to your articles. And we can do this automatically or manually if you'd like. Let's just leave this at automatic, create new preset, and now we're ready to generate the content. And you will see why this is so much better than ChatGPT. Now, go to advanced mode, select the preset you just created, and let's hit just hit generate. We can do 300 articles if you'd like, but let's do, it's recommended we do 10 because that's the number of keywords we have and just hit generate and now we wait. Now, what's gonna happen here is something that cannot happen with ChatGPT. That's the first thing, and I'll show you why in just a second. The second thing is there's this little feature called autoblogs, which I'll go over in a second, which essentially allows you to have journalists say, I generate the content that's generating here, and then automatically post it to your WordPress blog, Wix blog, Shopify blog, Webflow, Blogger, Zapier even, and I'll go over that in just a second here. But the first thing that reveals why this is made better than ChatGPT, and I'll let you know while, while this loads, is we give you properly structured articles with featured images, a table of contents, right? Proper article structure with in-article images, relevant images, automatic in-article videos, relevant videos, internal links, right? To other articles you've generated in the past or to pages on your site, external links linking out to trustworthy sources in your niche. You can generate content in over 150 different languages. We also give you an automatic call to action to your products or services. All this then automatically for you. And on top of that, you can click here to publish all to integration. Once these are done generating, right? We can click, we just click of a button, publish this to any one of these integrations right here, right? We have all the ones that I just said, WordPress, Shopify, Ghost, Wix, Webflow Blogger, and even Zapier, right? And that's the power of Journalist AI. It's both the content, but also the ability to automate the content publishing with an autoblog. If you create a new auto blog, you can have Journalist AI connected to your blog, right? Whether that's again a Shopify blog, WordPress, Wix, whatever that is. And every single day, week, month, it's going to be publishing all these individual blog posts, right? All the ones right here. If we expand on one of these ones, this is a blog post. All the blog posts have featured images, proper tables of contents proper structuring, in-article links, external links, in-article images, in-article videos, calls to action, all of this automatically then for you. So I won't be creating an autoblog right now, but if I go here to edit, you can choose and see the frequency. We can do 20 articles every single day, week, month, every 12 hours, every six, six hours. You can even do 300 articles every six hours if you want. The most common though is five articles every single week, right? Now that's the true power of journalist AI. And on top of that, there's a brands feature right here, which I won't cover for now. Now, let's go here to our history and see if some of the articles have generated. And so far, seven have, so we can just click here to view. And then again, these will pop up. Now, discover the top surf camps in Algarve. Algarve is a zone in the south of Portugal, right? Now, as we see here, we have the featured image. These are all AI generated. We have the table of contents, right? Overview gives you the best surf camps, activities in these surf camps, and a conclusion right here. So let's just skim through this. And it's building out some words. It's surf camps in Algarve, and it's linking out to this article that speaks about what to do and where to go in Portugal with kids, which I'm sure speaks about some of the surf camps, right, and some surf lessons right here. So these only link out, or listen, Sagres here is one of the zones in the south of Portugal. So these internal, external links, this is an external link, link out to relevant sources in your niche, right? Again, in article images, all these, which is generated with AI. This is an external link again. Uh, more in article images, this is an internal link right here. Uh, do we have a video? We do have a video here. Lagos, Portugal is one of the most beautiful cities in the south of Portugal. So you can see here that uh, we have just what we, what, we, what we were hoping for. And right here, make a purchase. This should link out to the, our call to action, right? 58surf.com, the Portuguese surf brand. So you can buy surfboards, right? So all of this done with AI. We can scream through this, right? Learn to surf in Algarve, that's another one. Again, this was generated with AI, right? We can change this if you'd like. Again, we can scream through this. We can view all the images. 
view all the links, view all the videos, and if you want, you can just click here and post to integration. Again, where your integration could be Shopify, WordPress, Wix, all the ones that I just mentioned, right? And all this was done with AI. I can, be, I can skim through all this if I like, but I really want you to test it out for yourself. Actually, it's pretty interesting. This is an actual image describing how this beach Al Jazeera looks like in Portugal, which is insane that AI can do this. This really looks like this page, so it's pretty cool. And again, I can go here and click publish each one of these to my integration, or I can just go here and publish all to integration once they're done generating. And so this is why this is so much more powerful than just using ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT isn't enough. That's just the reality. ChatGPT isn't enough. I do want you to try this out. Go to tryjournalist.com. I'll leave a link for this in the description of this video. I'll also leave a link in the pinned comment. And if you go to this URL, tryjournalist.com, you get three articles for free, right? Three articles for free. And if you like it, you can buy a subscription. If not, no worries. But just go here, put it in your email, and you get three free articles. Let me know what you think. And if you like it, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.